ways to connect with friends, school, and community? Oh yeah, a new season of Helm is coming right at you. I'm Reagan Arnold. Welcome to The Helm, where we bring you information that will keep you involved with your friends, school, and city community. With the global pandemic rocking our way of life for the past six months, fellow journalist Orion Todd has some tips to keep you connected with friends and your school. With COVID-19 keeping us all at home, I interviewed a couple of people to see how they are staying connected with their friends. Really, like I moved, and so I'm not living in Washington anymore, so it's like... I haven't made any friends here because of coronavirus, so it's like Discord. I'm able to communicate with friends back home just really easily. And like, I'm not a social media type person. I don't have Snapchat. I don't have like uh, Facebook. I don't have any of that stuff. So Discord is just kind of a lifesaver, if I'm being honest. I am on Discord like half the time just, just sitting in voice chat waiting for someone to join whenever I finish my homework. I also asked them if they had any tips, if you are struggling to stay connected. Discord works pretty well for me, and, I don't know, texting people. I mean, for me, I, I've been doing a lot of, like, like, reading, a lot of just kind of, like, activities to distract myself, like playing games with friends, playing games by myself even, reading, um, just, like, just some stuff to keep you distracted. Uh, and then until you legitimately can have contact with people is, is what I'd say. And this is Orion Todd for Viking Student Media. Thanks, Orion. Now, with the 2020-21 school year now in session, the Video Game Club has made a comeback with virtual gaming tournaments. And here's teacher Mr. Cockle to give us an inside look of what you can look forward to with the Video Game Club. Oh. Hey, Mike. Mr. Cockle here. Advisor of the Video Game Club at BHS. We're here today to show you something pretty cool. So go ahead, check it out. And that's it. That's the Video Game Club. It's a big part of what we've been doing here for the last year. Last year we focused a lot on, obviously, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We hosted tournaments almost every single month last year, even in quarantine. We were able to continue doing tournaments online throughout the end of the year and the summer as well. This year, we're looking to expand our ability to do tournaments beyond Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to games like the following. So this year we're going to be hosting our very first tournament on Friday, October 2nd, over Mario Kart 8. If you're interested, please contact our president, Michael Ransford, our vice president, or Ryan Zott, and they'll get you connected. Afterwards, we're going to continue with hosting regular meetings starting Friday, October 9th. I hope to see you there. Happy gaming. The Video Game Club is hosting a virtual Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tournament this Friday on October 2nd, and applications open today on September 28th, so make sure to fill in those spots. Now, the month of September has looked a lot differently than it has in years past since the fair has ceased regular operations, but this has not stopped them as they have produced fan favorites like Krusty Puffs and Scones through their fair drive through Myself, along with Leo Quality, went and captured some of the sights and sounds of the fair drive through and here's how it went. The Washington State Fair, or as locals call it, the Puyallup Fair, has been a Northwest staple for the past 120 years. But with the coronavirus putting it at a halt, they had to get creative in how they would bring the fair back to Puyallup. Thus, the idea of the fair food drive-thru was put into action. Having already tested this, 
earlier in July, the fair revamped the model to make it more efficient, in which public relations manager for the fair, Stacy Van Horn, said the inspiration for the idea was simple. So the inspiration behind our drive through food event was we really wanted to give people a taste of the fair, literally and figuratively. We couldn't do the fair this year, and so we thought, well, if we can't do the traditional way, let's feed them. Throughout the whole month of September, vendors have been cooking up crown favorites like funnel cakes, crusty pups, and caramel apples to keep customers satisfied. Not even a little rain can stop their cravings. The delicious food and the lighthearted hospitality of the vendors and staff make the fair drive through a pleasant experience from first bite to last stop, making it a great way to do the Puyallup. If you've missed out on your fill of elephant ears or you just want to experience it one more time, then you're not too late. The fair will be open one more weekend, the weekend of October 2nd through the 4th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So make sure to visit and do the Puyallup while you're there. That pretty much wraps it up for this episode of The Helm. We thank you so much for joining us and a huge thank you to Leo Qualley, Orion Tot, and Isabel McAnally for your hard work. From all of us here at The Helm, I'm Reagan Ajo. Stay safe, stay connected, and stay Purple Bikes.